What's the most ducked up shit you've walked into? Friend got shit faced at a party, was put to bed to sleep it off. Lots of us stayed there as to not drive drunk. Well when I got up to use the bathroom I found aforementioned passed out dude sitting on the toilet with the lid down. He had his dong in his hand and was sitting in a puddle of shit. At some point in the night he got up to take a shit and decided to jerk off. He was forever known as poop and jerk from that point on. I was with my friend during our first year of college. We were roommates and he happened to be 21. We were walking to a liquor store to pick up some alcohol. As soon as we get across the street and about 40 feet from the building, a car completely runs over two people. One person went up flying. I don't know how high and the other guy kinda went airborne into side and I could hear sounds I never want to hear again. People run over and start helping them as we stare in disbelief. There was already too many people trying to help so we went on and got the alcohol and came back outside and see two sets of paramedics attempting CPR. People are screaming I could see one set of paramedics get up and you could tell by their body language the person was dead, not sure about the other person but I believe they both shared the same fate. We went back in and got more alcohol, but I was still unable to forget that night. Didn't walk into it so much as it walked into me. On a night out in another town waiting for a taxi home, random drunk lass walks around the corner from the strip to where the taxi rank is, lifts her dress up. Bends over and just just sprays diarrhea up the wall in front of about 20 people, pulls her dress down and walks right into another club. The range was impressive, if nothing else. This summer I was leaving work in a rural area in NY. Got to the main highway, let a motorcycle pass, turned and started down the road behind him. He was going fast. Anyone who lives in rural NY can probably guess where this is going. I see a deer bolting across a field ahead of us. Surely this man on the motorcycle sees the deer? Hopefully the deer hears the motorcycle? Nope. The deer runs into the road, the guy wipes out, the deer miraculously jumps over the skating bike and runs off. Down I stop my car, start running to the guy while I'm dialing 911. There's a thin layer of what used to be his foot spread out over the road. He's screaming for me to get the bike off him. Other cars are stopping and we pull the bike off him while I'm trying to get an ambulance. His hand was completely ducked. His foot was pinned under his bike, his shoe came off, and it was shaved down to the bone. He took off his helmet, and we saw he was probably close to 80. He was chewing on a toothpick and it went through his lip. We wrapped a belt around his leg to stop the bleeding. The ambulance arrived, they took him, and I never heard what happened to him. He was wearing jeans, a leather jacket, no gloves, and loafers. The bloody skid mark that used to be his foot was there for days until it rained and got washed away. Woke up a Sunday morning, felt like being a good kid and to make my parents some coffee and toast. I get downstairs and get to making a little breakfast tray and go into their room. To find them going at it, I made eye contact with my dad for a solid five seconds before setting down the tray and walking out. I don't make breakfast anymore. Friend and I went out to get pizza and took his little sister too. Gone maybe 20 minutes. Got back and his little sister runs inside before us. He walks after her and I follow. As I get in I see both of them frozen in place staring at something. As I round the corner I see their dad strangling their mom, both crumpled on the stairs leading up. It was eerily quiet, like she was sitting there dying without a sound. I was in a state of shock but I wasn't paralyzed by it so I walked over and calmly grabbed his wrists and pulled his hands from her neck. Still no sounds at all, super quiet. She started gasping then and the sound snapped everyone out of it. That's when all hell broke loose with everyone screaming and freaking out. Doubt my own mom asked why I didn't beat the hell out of him and I had to explain to her that I was in a sort of calm daze. I was watching someone trying to kill someone else and I just couldn't process it. As an adult now I would have absolutely beat him to a greasy pulp but I was like 16 then. At my girlfriend's house, I was about to go home when we hear a car crash, and some time later screaming from a young girl. Drunk driver rammed a 12-year-old girl against a school gate. Both her legs crushed and bent in a way it shouldn't bend. Didn't get much sleep that night. Later I found out the girl survived, but is crippled for life. Back in college, I had a few friends in a sorority, and we'd go around to parties on the weekends. Walked into a some frat party, and while we're still in the entryway of the house, a girl with her pants around her knees is trying to run down the stairs but trips and falls down half of them. We go over to see if she's okay, 
and three guys appear at the top of the stairs saying she's with us and she's okay. She's incoherent. Doesn't know where she is, can't give me her name. The girls and I immediately decide to get her home. We get her pants back on, and I carry her out the door while we deal with the protests of the guys behind her. When in the car, she can't tell us where she lives, doesn't have her phone, and can't give us any phone numbers. She's totally out of it. Thankfully she had her wallet and ID, so we found her apartment that way, dropped her off, and left her with her roommate. When I was six years old, I lived with my mom in a single wide trailer out in the country. One night she sat me down for dinner in front of the TV and gave me a big hug then walked into her bedroom and closed the door. Shortly after that I heard the loudest boom I had ever heard in my life come from her room. I got up and opened up the door to her bedroom to find my mom with her head blown off. Suicide, I am 34 now and it still pains me to talk about but, it is by far the most ducked up shit that I have ever walked into. I used to work in a prison. It's a British female prison and I was a male officer. At lockup time I was getting everyone back to their cells, mainly by ineffectively shouting at the women, but slowly they were getting banged up for the night. I walked in this one cell to check and on the floor were two women inserting a 2 liters full coke bottle into the other, fat end first, the inserters were about 25 and the receiver 50. I just noped out of there, came back 5 minutes later and everyone was back in their own cell with just the receiver sat watching TV in her own cell. Not a word was said by me or them. Locked everyone away and never told anyone except my wife when I got home, and she was like yeah well you can fit a baby out that way a coke bottle isn't that much wider. When I was about 11 or 12, I went outside to go play and quickly found a trail of dead and puppies that my pregnant Rottweiler had left in the yard. I vividly remember that one was missing its head. I followed three or four of them into the detached garage where she stayed and found her, eating them. We were able to save three. It was her first litter and she clearly did not want them so we had take over their care. Still turns my stomach to think about. Not me but my brother told me this. My brother is blind and so is his friend, let's call him Kenny. Kenny lived with his dad until one day when his dad decided to hang himself in the garage. Kenny found him by bumping into him when trying to find him when he got home from work. Was the most ducked up thing I ever heard. Walked into a friend's garage to his oblivious 13-year-old sister blowing their dog. I was like 11 at the time, and didn't have a lot of context. Older now, there are reasons to suspect she'd been abused in the past. She was either a foster or adopted, her older brother was an adoptee. At 13 she was dating guys in their very late teens to mid-twenties. She was into self-harm, burning herself with cigarettes. When you're a kid, you just think, what a freak, but when you're older, you start to feel some sympathy for what she'd likely been through. When I was young I was at my grandparents' ranch. My grandmom told me to go out and help my granddad. He was in the barn with a cow birth and had been there a while. I walked out to the completely quiet barn to see him looking down in either disgust or sadness. I walked around to see the most disgusting thing. The baby was already dead inside the mom and had ruptured during the birthing process. This caused massive shock and prolapse of the cow. I saw a low of blood, a smell I will never forget, and the decaying face of a baby cow never born. I was delivering a parcel to a business in a remote location, walked in and found a naked chick throwing cucumbers at an elderly gentleman's spread ass cheeks. She saw me and told me to wait a second while she threw two or three more. It appeared as though she was trying to javelin them into his crinkly old brown eye. Then she came over, signed and went and started collecting the cucumbers. The old guy shouted thanks. There must have been 30 cucumbers on the floor. Later that day I delivered a parcel to a guy that was in the middle of being arrested, the cops let him sign though and he told me it was a dildo for the cop's wife and the cop replies that if he didn't shut his mouth he'd shove the box up his ass. It was a great day and I still think fondly of that old man and his baggy shit piece. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.